Hello everyone, it's Skin Time with Caroline. So I just want to let you know that your skin box will be dispatched as soon as possible and we'll aim to exceed your expectations. My skin feels so good though already. I was actually well overdue microneedling so I was delighted to do this video to show you guys tonight because it means I actually got my treatments done at home. <laughs> okay, so my skin is all cleansed and ready to go. I've just taken my roller out of the package, um, so it was just wrapped in plastic. So how is microneedling going to help me? Okay, first I want to show you guys how sensitive my skin is. I don't know if you can see all of those red blotches that have came up. So my skin is super sensitive and a lot of people will ask, is it safe to roller? To do micro uh, derma roller on sensitive skin and the answer is yes it is um, it's even safe to do on mild rosacea skin also so um, if you suffer with sensitive skin you're, you'll be fine and you know your skin yourself if you're getting if you're very reactive I wouldn't recommend it but um, if you're usually fine with most products or ingredients, then you're going to be safe using home rollering as well. So the benefits that I'm looking for now from my home rollering and why I do home rollering is continuously keep on top of my skin to remove the dead skin cells that develop day by day, to increase the cell turnover and produce them new cells coming up to the surface so that I have nice, fresh, healthy looking skin on the surface and also to continue with as an anti-aging program for my skin and to keep on top of my professional needling for um, anti-aging. And also to keep those lines and wrinkles at bay that none of us want, but also to open up them micro channels in my skin for more efficacious delivery of them important ingredients that I've invested in my products. Okay, so let's get started guys. What I'm going to be using during my needling is the, again, the Image Skincare Ageless Hyaluronic Acid. Um, if you guys don't have this, you can purchase it on our website, HavanaSkinClinic.com. Um, but it's the safest product to use during microneedling. So I apply this product on as I go. Some people choose to put it on the entire face prior to doing the needling, but I find it dries out. So I like to apply it section by section as I go. Hyaluronic filler is the only product that I would recommend rollering with because it's natural to the skin. You wouldn't be rolling with any active ingredients whatsoever. Okay, I need my mirror. So always starting on the forehead. Hyaluronic filler is the only product that I would recommend rollering with because it's natural to the skin. You wouldn't be rolling with any active ingredients whatsoever. Okay, I need my mirror. So always starting on the forehead. Now, when you're rolling your skin for the very first time, if you've never been showed before how to do this, you want to go in a cross pattern, a crisscross pattern. So I'm gonna just start here at the center brow and we're gonna roll back and forward. Okay, there we have redness, if you can see, okay? And now I'm going to come in a crisscross pattern, overlapping where I've just came down back and forward, up and down. And this way, you're not gonna leave out any sections. So you can go really quickly, there's no need to go slow. You can move along really fast so that you're not gonna be at it all day. The forehead, the nose, and the chin area, and upper lip would be your most sensitive areas. So if you've applied any numbing agents, I recommend starting on the forehead, working down the right side of the cheek, and then coming up the chin, the lip, and the nose area. And might I say also, um, if you are afraid of blood, maybe you should tune out now because we might get some, just on the bony areas mainly. You're not generally gonna feel much because the needles are not that deep compared to um, professional rollering. The needles are much deeper into the skin. But what you will feel is like a little crunch as it penetrates through your stratum corneum. And as I said earlier on, our skin is a great barrier. So penetrating through our stratum corneum is the only way that we're going to deliver our products that little bit deeper into our skin so that we can get the most from them and the best results. I 
I really should wear a mop cap. So if you have a mop cap at home or a shower cap, pop that on. Okay, so if you can see here, I'm working in an upward downward motion. Then I'm gonna come across that section right in the middle. And continuing to go until I see redness on the area that I'm working on. And then I'm going to come up through that area in an X pattern on the right side and on the left side. And that's going to help us fill in all the gaps so that we're not leaving anywhere out. So you can see it's really easy to do, but it can take some time if you're going to do it properly. So I'm going to start speeding up a little bit. Okay, time for some more products as I'm going to work down the cheek area on this side. You don't want to go past the bone on the eye area here. You can bring it right up onto the bone and come around here in kind of a C shape. Go with the shape of your cheekbone, more or less. You don't need to apply much pressure on this bony area here because um, it's going to create redness a lot quicker because it's a very sensitive area to treat. So my product is drying out so I'm going to pop on some more. You can apply more pressure on the cheek area, on the padded parts of your cheek, um, compared to the forehead because there's a lot more tissue in this area. Paying special attention now to the nasal labial folds. Okay, so moving on to the sensitive parts now, onto the upper lip. Oh, just one thing to know, very important, if you suffer with cold sores or if you have an active cold sore, not to go over the area where, well, actually not to do the treatment if you have an active cold sore. And if your, your cold sore has gone, it's fine to do your needling. Just don't go over where the cold sore was active because you don't want to re-stimulate that area. Okay, and now up onto the nose. Okay, so you can see I'm developing some nice redness there. Microneedling is great for improving any scar tissue. And I have a scar right here on the very tip of my nose from a chicken pock. When I was a kid, supposedly when I pulled my pajama top up over my head, it popped the spot off. So I have a proper indent here in my nose. So I'm going to make sure we give that a tour going over today. Another benefit from needling is um, if you're anybody who suffers with congestion and that comes alongside blackheads, microneedling is gonna improve um, it's going to remove your blackheads and it's also going to work on closing your open pores. Really lightly, no pressure whatsoever as you come along the bone. I want to get right into the corner here so you just give your nose a little stretch and you can get right in. That's an area that often gets neglected. And not even so much neglected, a lot of the time your product, if you're not removing it correctly, it can all gather here into that little dip in the nose. So you want to make sure that you're cleaning that out correctly. Okay, now my last section is just to work up this side of the cheek and then we're done. And now we're all done. So you can see there we've got some nice redness, some nice even redness gone on everywhere. At the very end, any gaps that you haven't covered, 
you can then go back over and make sure to get them just at the very end but you definitely want to be given it a couple of minutes because it sometimes can take a few minutes for the redness to actually surface um, for you to see it on your skin. Now you can see here just in the center brow I need to come down here so I'm going to apply some more product on before I do so. And I'm not really seeing any other patches. Yeah, it's just in here. And then what you can also do is roll directly over your eyebrows because a lot of the time the eyebrows don't get cleansed, they don't get exfoliated. It's not an area where we usually put our product so we can get a lot of buildup of dead skin cells in our eyebrows. Okay and then not to leave out the eyebrows because the eyebrows don't ever get the attention with our products. We're usually working around them and we can get a lot of buildup of dead skin cells because we haven't exfoliated this area. we're done. So now you can go and ask your partner is he ready to go on a date with you. <laughs> and that's it now, we're all done. As easy as that, you probably want to give yourself 30 minutes and all to do the treatments. You'll have some nice general redness so we always recommend not to do it um, if you have an event on. But um, what you can do is you can go now and ask your husband is he ready to go on a date. <laughs> go and scare somebody at home. They'll be sure to get a fright if they've never seen um, you do needling at home before because I don't look so red here in the camera but if you see me if you're here with me now my face is much redder than it appears on screen and now to finish up post treatments you will apply your hyaluronic filler Okay, so if you're somebody who suffers with pigmentation, you can now go on and put some lightening serum on. I'm not, um, it's not my main concern right now. So I'm going to apply some of my, my vitamin C anti-aging serum. Okay, so post-treatment, what you should avoid is alcohol. Um, any exercising or inducing any excess heat onto the area in general, like um, exercising saunas, swimming pools, steam rooms, um, heaters on in the car. So any excess heat we want to completely avoid um, putting onto our skin. You will feel your skin will be in, feel intense heat for the next couple of hours, but that should fade out over three to five hours after you do your needling. If you feel the need to cool down, you can cool down with um, if you have a latex glove at home, fill it up with water, put it in the fridge and just lightly kill down the skin. You don't want to overkill the skin because you want the anti-inflammatory in response in the skin to do the work. Don't be touching your skin, don't apply any active ingredients. Um, change your pillowcase tonight before you go to bed. No makeup if you can at all. If you do need to apply makeup on, only mineral makeup and then sleep with the makeup on. Don't cleanse off the products that you've applied to your skin immediately after you've done your needling treatments. Don't be touching your skin either. Stay away. <laughs> no washing your hair preferably for two to three days because you don't want any of the perfume or chemicals from your shampoos or conditioners getting into your skin because remember you've opened up the channels in your skin. 
what you're going to find now is um, the inflammatory response is going to be there which is for collagen repair so we want to see redness so don't get a fright if you've got a lot of redness as I said that will kill down over the next three to five hours and make sure to apply some protection if it's daytime I'm not applying my protection now because it's dark outside and I'm not going to be going outdoors um, but um, always always wear your sun protection every day even if you're not having needling done you need SPF protection oh, you need UVA protection um, so a good SPF to wear would be one that contains zinc oxide because it's healing for the skin and then what to expect tomorrow is some more redness some people can experience redness up to five days in most cases it's gone by the following day and and then you're going to experience some shedding at day three is usually when that starts to happen between day three and day five is when you're going to shed most um, if your skin doesn't shed don't panic maybe you didn't needle enough or your skin didn't need to shed if you've been using active ingredients like salicylic or glycolics you're already daily exfoliating your skin so your skin probably just didn't need that exfoliation um, don't worry if your skin becomes really flaky and scaly it means your skin needed it so it's a good response from the treatment and it's what you want to see your second time performing microneedling at home you won't peel as much so thanks for watching guys i hope it's helped you have a nice insight into how home needling works. Again, if you go over to the private Facebook group, we'll be discussing a lot more over there. Thanks for watching and as always, feel beautiful, be happy, confidence is key. So this really is an all around skin treatment. It's a skin stimulator and it's also known as collagen induction therapy. So it's a really good product to have at home to use alongside your skincare. Because remember, you've invested in your skincare, you wanna get the most out of it. So one time offer today to get the most out of your products is 29 euro and you can get yourself a home roller to use with your products.